So rise of people pay drink. So what is people pay drink? That's what I call it, because I think that's the easiest way to understand it. This is, this is authorship. Um, and so Google rolled out, you know, Google Plus and Google Authorship, Rel Equal Author. Um, and there's a lot of Rel Equal Authors. So Rel Equal Author is actually just a schema markup, um, a form of microdata essentially. And all it really does is tell um, a crawler or a browser or some you know, mobile device who the author of a page is. Um, and right now, typically, we find that that is a, an author of written content. Um, we're seeing that now a little bit more in video. We'll see authorship in video. We'll see authorship in images. We'll see it in, in really every type of, every type of uh, digital asset. So I hate reading quotes, but I think this one's really worthy. If you guys haven't uh, heard about Eric Schmidt's book, the chairman of Eric Schmidt, uh, chairman of Google, put out a book. Um, and one of the popular quotes in that book is this, within search results, information tied to verified online profiles will be ranked higher than content without such verification, which will result in more users naturally clicking on the top verified results. The true cost of remaining anonymous then might be relevant. So this is from Google's chairman talking about the progression and evolution of authorship. Won't read this one. This is um, a link, check it out on the slide share. So Google, uh, this is, it's called Agent Rank. This is what they publish, this is their patent. And it's actually like a five page document. It's really interesting. And it talks about, and if you read it, you, you start to understand, it's, I don't know if anyone ever read the hypertext uh, anatomy of a search engine kind of markup. It's like the old school original patent they filed for page rank. It's kind of like that, but it's 2005. Their original patent was 1997. And it took them a long time to get page rank where it is today. I think you'll see agent ranking up in the same place. Um, one of the things that the patent talks about is it talks about how, um, it talks about how authors essentially uh, can be um, validated on the reputation based on the category that they work in. And, and Google talks about categories a lot. And I always wondered like, what is a Google category? I don't know what a Google category is. Um, and as we were building some of our own software, we were, we were forced to you know, say, hey, we need a really strong categorization system. So we looked at like DMOS, we looked at, there's like a SIC and AICS codes, there's all these different kind of category systems out there. Somewhere along the way we ran into Google, and Google has a category system they built for AdWords, and it's basically, it's like flat out hands down the best categorization system for anything web related. Um, and so what's kind of interesting is that as, as I read through that agent rank patent, and as I look at this Google categorization system, it would be very logical that they might align agent rank categorization to the existing Google rank categories. Um, and just some of the examples you can see like apparel, accessories, eyewear, sunglasses, gloves and mittens. So you kind of understand how they might think about authors. So everybody's probably seen this little snippet, right? Um, <clears throat> so of course, if you drill into someone's Google Plus profile and you click the About link, you can actually see where they contribute. It's up to the Google Plus user or the author to actually um, essentially just insert a URL where they write to on the internet. And Google crawls the websites, of course, on pretty much every major site, crawls those sites, and it's kind of a double opt-in. So when I say that I contribute to the iAcquire blog and Google sees my rel tag on the iAcquire blog, that's a digital signature. Um, they know that's me now. And so the question becomes, as I create more digital signatures out on the internet, as I produce content, and as that content lands on more important sites, what is my, what is my agent rank? A lot of people call it author rank. So what is that? That's not public information. It's not like page rank. It doesn't exist. Here's a graphic by Mike Arneson, actually, <laughs> that I found online, Mike. Maybe he says it best. I think the point here is that there's probably a lot of components. We don't know what they all are. Um, how many comments are on your page? How many social shares do you have in the content you produce? How often do you write content? Uh, where's that content being placed? And a, maybe a host of other factors. You know, we believe that the biggest components are gonna be how often do you produce content and where does the content live? Um, probably a lot of other things can come into play, but we think those are the two most important ones. So I don't know if anybody went to PubCon uh, this October, but Matt Cuff talked about agent rank, talked about authorship. He actually said they were gonna reduce the number of authors showing up in search results. And he also said, we're going to make sure that the authors that show up are more important or more relevant. And it was the uh, kind of the first um, kind of public uh, statement by Google or Matt Cutts saying authorship is at work. Um, and, and we kind of, a lot of people read into it to mean that we'll see a lot more of that. So one of the things I looked at was this MozCast. I don't know if you guys have, have seen this MozCast, pretty cool. Um, so they look at, you know, they, of course, are tracking millions of keywords across the web. 
And they've done an analysis to say, you know, you know this is just a 30-day view as of December 21st, but you know, 23% of all keywords showed at least one author snippet uh, on the search result page. And now we're seeing about 20%. So they dropped that down by you know, 15% or so, which is you know, actually the number Matt said. So I think we're seeing that they're, they're doing what they said. Um, we should expect to see more authorship occur. I don't know that we'll see much more of a decline in snippets occurring. Uh, but I think we'll see more of that people pagering happening.